Welcome to day three of Vlogmas. My name is Natalie and I run a small business while also living with a bunch of chronic illnesses like fibromyalgia, Hashimoto's disease, Raynaud's syndrome, and a whole bunch more. Today, I'm going to talk with you about how to make money online and why I'm talking about that. So let me start at the beginning. In 2012, I started my journey on how to make money online. And I've documented that whole thing. This was all back in 2012 in Dutch. And my first year went really well. So after that, I started teaching how to attract more customers online, um, how to build your social following and all of that. Now, fast forward to 2015, where I started my e-commerce shop, and that's the small business I'm running right now. I run a shop on Shopify, but I also sell on Amazon, Redbubble, Etsy, and I have a Patreon. So this is all a whole bunch of stuff that I have now been doing for eight years, and I can share my experience about it. When I started Vlogmas a couple days ago, I asked my community on the Instagram stories, what would you like me to make videos about? And the surprising answer that 90% of people gave was how to make money online. And I'm like, it's not specifically what my community is about, but I do have things that I can share and I do live with chronic illnesses while doing all of this. So today I will be talking about and teaching you how to sell t-shirts, leggings, and stickers on Etsy without having stock, without having to pack and ship it yourself, and without having to pay for a fulfillment center. So hold tight, I'm gonna show you all of this on my computer. So how this all works can be boiled down into six easy steps. For total, total beginners, step one is open your Etsy shop. I'm not gonna show you how to open an Etsy shop. There's other videos for that and it's easy to find and it's pretty easy to do. Step two is open a Printful account. Printful is a print-on-demand company. You can just find them at printful.com and they will print your design on their products and ship it directly to the customer. So products, for example, that they have is different apparel, their accessories, hats, home and live-in, um, all sorts of different things. Some of their items are priced really high, so I do not really recommend selling them because it's hard to make a profit on them. Um, and some of them are priced very reasonably. Um, and in this video, I will be focusing on t-shirts, leggings, and stickers, because that's basically what I sell and what I know, so. In step three, you link your Etsy to your Printful account. So let me just recap. First, you open your Etsy shop. If you don't have one yet, you sign up for Etsy and you open your shop. Then secondly, you open a Printful account. That's basically just putting your email uh, address and a password in and you have an account. And then you can start using them. Now, you need to connect your store to your Printful account. As you can see, I have a Shopify store connected and I have an Etsy store connected. Um, when you're on the Printful website, there is a tab that's called Stores, that's a page, and this is where you can connect to different stores. As you can see, you can connect it to a whole bunch of different platforms, to Amazon, to eBay, to Wish, so we're gonna choose a platform and here you can pick what you wanna connect it to. And I see that they have added so many things since I have last looked at this. So that is very interesting. Anyway, so you can just connect, mine are already connecting, but you click on connect, 
you sign into your Etsy shop and that's that. Now your shops are connected. So we want to start uploading products into our Printful account so we can sell them on Etsy, but you need to make a design. So you can make a sticker or you can make like a pattern design that you want to put on leggings or on t-shirts. It's all up to you. For this example, I think we're going to go with the sticker because that's just the easiest to upload. So I'm going to go to products. You can find those by clicking on stores and then add product into the store that you want to add the product in. Now I'm going to be adding a sticker, a kiss cut sticker. And this is where you drop your design. Now for apparel, all of the guidelines for your designs are different and you need to really play co pay close attention. So there's always a link here, product info, pricing and guidelines. And there are print file templates that you can download so you can make sure that your design will look good on their stuff. Well, for a sticker, it's quite easy. So I'm just going to choose a file. And this is where you have all of your files in your shop. As you can see, I have nothing in here because I push everything from my Shopify shop to my Etsy store. But I'm just going to go upload something right now. Let's see. Let's see what kind of stickers I've got that I can put in my Etsy shop. For example, keep calm. It's just a wheelchair. So I've chosen that image. It's uploading and now it's showing here. So I'm going to choose this. And here we go. It's uploaded. I'm going to proceed to mockups. And this is where you can choose which mockup you want to show in your shop. I always like this one and to show like the big sticker. There's all sorts of mockups that you can choose uh, usually. Then here I proceed to the details. So it's important to give it a good title. So keep calm. It's just a wheelchair sticker. And I can choose to include metric size guides, which I always do. And this is where you fill in your tags. Now, your tags on Etsy are really important because that is how people will find you in the search results. So I want to be found on wheelchair sticker, on um, wheelchair decal, on wheelchair decoration. Try, oh, this is too long. You can only have 20 characters. You see wheelchair decorations, that is too long. So I will do mobility aid sticker. That kind of, yeah, that's works. Mobility aid um, decal, wheelchair gift. Gift is always a good one to try. Um, awareness is a good word in my niche. I don't know if that's too long. Oh yes, that's good. So try to put as many tags in there and make them super specific. Don't just put sticker in there because nobody is going to find you. Now this is, um, these are the product selections that I have in my shop right now. I don't have a sticker selection, so I'm just going to keep that empty. These are the shipping costs that uh, I need to pay and I can choose to display the product with free shipping. If you do that on Etsy, calculate the price that you're selling it for really well and make sure that you include uh, the shipping cost in your profit margin because you also have to pay Etsy costs. 
um, and you don't want to, you know, have to add money because you didn't put a high enough price in there. Etsy favors products that have free shipping. So on Etsy, all of my products are calculated to have free shipping within the United States. So now I'm going to proceed to pricing, which I'm not going to sell my sticker for 250. I'm going to sell it for 395, 445 and for let's do 99. <clears throat> Here we go. I cannot stress this enough. Do your calculations because you do not want to sell a lot of things and be left without any money. Etsy, I calculate about 10 to 15% of fees on Etsy because you are paying the listing fee, which is 20%, which you will see 20 um, cents, which you will see in a moment. Um, you, if you make an X amount of sales, you have to do their ads, which is another 5%. Then you have the payment processor fees and the Etsy fees. So just calculate 10 to 15% of costs to make sure that you have everything in here. Um, and like I said, cost of shipping. So this is actually my price without shipping. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm going to submit this to my store. Now it's uploading to my um, Etsy store. So when this is done, I can see this in the back end of Etsy. When you have uploaded a product from Printful to Etsy, it will be in draft. Here you can see edit in Etsy. So I'm going to click that. It will open my Etsy shop and it will show the product that has now been uploaded to Etsy as a draft. Well, you can pick which image you want the first image to be, but to me, this looks fine. You can also add a video if you want to for um, product videos that you don't have your products. I recommend place it. Let me just show that for a second. Placeit.net. Um, they have some free mockups. Uh, most of it is paid, but their pricing is pretty reasonable. And this is where you can make um, like little videos and mockups of your products like this. So that's just a little tip if you want to add a video. So for the title, keep calm is just a wheelchair. I made this. It is a finished product and it's made to order. That is because Printful is a print on demand company. That means it will only actually get made after somebody orders. So it's literally made to order. Well, there are stickers and um, they are in the, the craft categories. That all looks fine. You can. So for Etsy, the more of these little boxes you fill in, the better it is for the ranking of your product. But I'm just not going to do all of that right now. And you can also skip it. For some products, I just don't put anything there. But fill in whatever you can. Now, when you set up your Etsy, you have to mention your production partners if you are not printing and shipping the item yourself. As you can see, I have different production partners and I'm showing them in the front of my shop as private. I don't really know why, to be honest, but on the back, I can see the different ones. So I'm going to click Printful. This is the standard text that Printful gives you. I would recommend putting something um, unique in there. So I would talk about the design that's on this sticker. Here you can see you can add a new production partner and this is where you can fill out all of the data and all of this data you can find in Printful and in your other production partners websites. Well, um, I don't have a section for stickers, so let's add a sticker section. stickers. There we go. Now it's going to 
show in my shop under the category stickers and I have put all my tags in there already. When you go down here, you can see the prices that I put in and you can still change that if you want to. And these are your shipping, um, what's it called, shipping profiles. Um, Printful, as you can see, they put standard shipping in there. I have never changed this. They literally put in how much shipping really costs, but I have selected the free shipping option. So for here, it will just show free shipping to everybody um, in the United States. I think this is actually, here we go. Here you can see United States, free shipping, European Union, free shipping, but I can change this. If I want to say, oh, but shipping to Australia is too expensive to offer free shipping. So people to Australia, they have to pay a euro, for example, or a dollar or a pound, <coughs> whatever currency your shop is in. <coughs> okay, so that's all in there. And now I'm going to publish it. Uh, I get this or error all the time. I don't know why. It says fix listing detail. But then I just have to click it three times and it works. Oh, right here, I forgot one. So card making, let's do that. Publish. As you can see, I am paying a fee to have this product up on Etsy. And this fee is to have my product up on Etsy for four months or until I make a sale. Because every time you make a sale, you pay this fee to relist your item. It makes no sense to me, but anyway, this is just one of the things you need to pay on Etsy. So you pay the 20 cent fee and you put it on there. Now it says your listing is active. Let me refresh my listings so it actually shows up. And there it is. This is the sticker that I've just uploaded. We can view it on Etsy and see what it looks like if somebody wants to buy it. And here you go. Now, this process works exactly the same for leggings, for t-shirt, for any product you pick inside your Printful dashboard. So let me just click, for example, uh, women's clothing. I will pick leggings. I'm going to pick a high-waisted legging, which is the yoga leggings. That one is high-waisted. As you can see, there's the product info, pricing, and guidelines like I've shown you before. And here are the different file templates. You can download this and uh, you can use them in either Photoshop or in other like editing software. Um, let me see. I have another store. This is where all my images are. So for example, this is a design file that I have made in Photoshop according to their template. So I can see that it looks good and that everything I want to show is inside these lines. And this is where I put the waistbands. Let me see. Oh, this is the wrong one. Here we go. And for this, I want a yellow waistband. And for the back as well. Um, and you can put your logo here if you want. I normally do do that, actually. So let me do that. Here we go. Now that's going to print inside my legging. Now here I can pick what kind of color do I want my stitching to be? Well, black because the design is black. The pocket is just a small uh, coin pocket in the waistband. Um, and basically now it's the same as what we did with the stickers. There's just more options to choose from. So I'm not going to go through the whole process again, but I just wanted to show you that it looks a little bit different depending on which product you choose. And now it's time for step number six, sell your stuff. 
like how to get people to your Etsy shop, how to like rank your items. Those are whole different videos. And I don't know what I am gonna make in terms of those videos, but there's a lot to be found on Google and on YouTube. This is the core, how to start your own Etsy shop and sell products without having inventory, without having stock, without printing and shipping the items yourself. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. I will make sure to answer any question to the best of my ability. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can follow my my vlogging journey because I vlog about my work. Basically, I make studio vlogs. So that was that for day three of Vlogmas. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching.